actually define austerity. It gives us a lot of people, right? So uh, the way the U.S. does budgeting, the budget implicitly goes up every year by a, you know a couple percent. Right. And so is you know is a is a second derivative shrink in the in the growth of spending? Yes. A, a second derivative. Yeah, yeah. Is that really the austerity, or is it the you know, well, it audience. is, but it depends how you get there. I mean, you can, as a democratic society, you can decide not to spend money on things. That, uh, and that's cutting, that's reshaping the budget. That doesn't necessarily mean austerity. So the fiscal cliff doesn't have to be austerity. It's, it's a choice over unsustainable priorities given your income stream. So I don't actually see that as austerity. Austerity for me is a long-run tradition that will be mapped out there that says that if you cut public debt, you will grow. It's a specific causal claim. So it's not just about budget consolidation. It's a claim that if you cut public debt, you will grow. Okay. That's the claim. So it's more of an ideology as opposed to? Well, I mean, it's, it's clinical practice as well, if you want to put it that way. I mean, this is policy. It's not just ideology. So that's really what the claim is. That if there's a claim out there that says if you cut, if you consolidate, if you do it seriously, if you do it up front, if you do it fast, then you will get sharp growth. That's what I think is complete nonsense.